tell me about your hair experiences. My hair journey has been a reflection of my growth as a person, right? So I can remember being a little girl in front of my big mama's gas stove with that hot comb brewing, and we would have to, you know, sit in the chair and get our hair pressed, and it would be so hot. It was like torture for me. I hated getting my hair straightened, but it was just a part of what we did, and we were told that beauty is pain and this was just a part of the process and so we subjected ourselves to the hot comb and I hated it. As I got older I always had a desire to want to just be me. Talk about the uh, historical context that comes along with the hair journey. We understand as African Americans fought for our rights to exist in America to be seen and be heard as people as humans and to have the human rights that are supposed to come along with our constitution part of that being accepted was to prove that we were worthy right and so a part of that proving that we were worthy proving that we were just like everyone else meant assimilation because in order to pioneer in a field there are sometimes some sacrifices and compromises that have to be made in order to get in <laughs> to be seen to be heard uh, and to be viewed as acceptable or worthy I don't take it lightly that I can show up in the fullness of my black self with my hair locked and I don't have to consider a European standard of beauty and impose it on myself but it's only because of the historical context and the women that have come before me that did have to sometimes compromise a little bit more and assimilate a little bit more when did you first or first have you ever experienced any type of microaggression as it relates to hair or hair discrimination? I think ironically, from within my family, first and foremost, you know, before you present yourself to the world, you present yourself to your family and you are immediately criticized, challenged. And it's ironic that for me, those uh, first macroaggressions came from my family. Like, where are you going with your hair like that? Like. My grandma asked me one time, did you mean for your hair to look nappy like that baby? When I had a little afro one time. Why do you think your, your elders have some of those perspectives as it relates to afros or kinkier hair? Why do you think that's the case? The times that they grew up in were such challenging times. When we talk about segregation and Jim Crow, like they're things of the past that happened a long time ago. But the reality is my father was the first African-American to graduate from an all white school. <laughs> In Texas, I have to be mindful and gracious towards my elders because in order to survive, they had to more fully assimilate themselves. How deep is hair for you? Ooh. Hair is deep. Hair is freedom for me. It's permission to step into the world in the fullness of who I am, just completely unassimilated and authentic. And that's freedom.